Hi right, everyone, let's talk about the tropical moisture that is finally going to leave the region after it was brought to Southern California from Tropical Cyclone K. This is Alex Tardy, Meteorologist, National Weather Service. Here's your weather briefing for the upcoming week. Here's the topics. Tropical moisture. It's going to decrease rapidly, but it's still in place as of Monday. A warming trend, but it'll be dry. Isolated mountain thunderstorms. That'll be the case on Tuesday, then the rest of the week looks like drying out. Let's talk about our weather chances that remain on Tuesday with lingering thunderstorms shown in here. Best chances over the mountains, inland areas, as the tropical moisture finally starts to decrease, but still lingers over those areas with instability. So the threat for a few showers and isolated thunderstorms continues, especially in the darker green shaded areas, such as the San Bernardino Mountains. Now temperatures this week, they'll warm up, but they're gonna remain average or even below average by a few degrees. So we're talking about temperatures in the 80s along the coastal valleys and inland valleys, temperatures well in the 90s for the deserts. So still really warm, uh, but ends up being below average a lot of places. The mountains will start to warm up, but even there, a little bit below average. Let's take a look at some of the past weather we've seen in terms of rainfall. Tropical Cyclone K, which brought up rain late last week, mostly on Friday. And then we saw a few thunderstorms that became rather widespread on Sunday. A lot of the desert areas received one to two inches of rain. Some of the mountain desert slopes, such as Mount Laguna, Warner Springs, over four inches of rain. Now, thanks to the thunderstorms on Sunday, the San Bernardino Mountains around the Cajon Pass received widespread heavy rain. So now their totals are up around three inches. Now for coastal areas, everyone received about a quarter to half inch of rain. There were pockets of heavier rain, such as the Santa Ana Mountains, the lower Santa Ana Mountains of Orange and Riverside County, uh, just west of Lake Elsinore, where rainfall was inch to two inches. And some of that occurred on Sunday as well. Notice the islands, uh, Catalina San Clemente, between one and two inches of rain. And yes, even in downtown San Diego, almost all of that occurring on Friday, received between a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rainfall. So depending on where you live, um, the rainfall vary greatly as is common in the monsoon or any storm, but even in tropical cyclone K moisture. All right, speaking of the rainfall on Sunday, it was quite widespread across the valleys, inland valleys, foothills, mountains, deserts, such as the high deserts, you can see the concentration of rain while it was in pockets. The Ramona area, closer to Barona in San Diego County, all the way down to Pine Valley, Mount Laguna, another dose of locally heavy rain. Now the Santa Ana Mountains and the western part of the Inland Empire are another dose of heavy rain, even more significant than what you saw with Tropical Cyclone K on Friday. Same was the case for Mount San Antonio, all the way to the Cajon Pass, Devore, Running Springs, Lake Arrowhead. Rainfall there on Sunday was very heavy, widespread, one to three inches of rain in a very short amount of time. Elsewhere in the Inland Empire, you basically received uh, the rainfall you saw on Friday. So double the rainfall amounts occurred on Sunday, and that's been giving uh, your area some localized flooding across the Inland Empire. The coastal areas were spared as shown here for the most part on Sunday. Here's a look at San Diego County Inland Valleys, the Barona area. Thanks for the photos from the Barona Fire Department. Uh, rainfall was just too heavy all at once. One to two inches of rain, creeks were raging, Fields were covered with standing and flowing water. Roads had standing and flowing water as shown here. Too much rain at once in the inland valleys of San Diego County, south of Ramona. This is a similar scenario to what we saw in September 2014, way back with 
Tropical Cyclone Norbert. Okay, so what about the recent weather? The heat wave, the 14-day heat wave really piled up uh, in terms of accumulative temperatures from late August through Labor Day weekend. In fact, parts of Central California and Nevada were the warmest 10-day period on record. And here in Southern California, we were several degrees above average. These are average temperatures. So in the red shaded area, you're talking 9 to 12 degrees above average. And that accounts for the high and the low temperatures. Very remarkable extreme heat wave. Let's take a look at the precipitation departure so far for this monsoon summer. Uh, it really stands out in Nevada, southwest Arizona, southeast California. Those areas have been much above average uh, for precipitation. What about the departure from average or the percent of average for the entire water year, so starting back to last October. You can still see most of California severely dry, though we did make a dent in parts of Southern California, such as the San Diego deserts. Um, those areas doing better than most of the state compared to average. Still very dry water year for the state of California. All right, what's the outlook after we start to rebound to average temperatures or a little bit below average for the rest of the week and we dry out. We aren't expecting much precipitation as we round out the middle part of September. And in fact, it looks like temperatures during that period, September 18th or 22nd will be below average for almost all the West. And you can see really warm conditions shift to the Plains and the Great Lakes Midwest region, all the way to the East Coast. Now, when we tail out September, the last part of September looks to be dry um, and we start to warm up. So we start looking at temperatures a little bit above average. That's the period from September 20th through 26th. Then you can see towards the end of September, the heat wave really shifts and focuses on the East Coast. Here's a summary. More thunderstorms are expected, but much less coverage on Tuesday. It'll still be muggy, but cloud cover will be decreasing over the next couple days. So the rest of the week looks like warming, especially in our mountains and deserts, but drier air. Temperatures recovering to near average or even some areas of the valleys and mountains remaining below average, including parts of our deserts. So we don't really warm up rapidly, but we get to what so-called average temperatures are for this time of year in September. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Check out the latest information at weather.gov San Diego. On our webpage, you can see the latest information, including climate data and weather forecast information.